the channel. All right, today it's gonna to be about the Type R and I installed the auto dimming review mirror. If you buy the Type R, it is a touring model, but for some reason as a touring, it doesn't get you the auto dimming review mirror. I understand about weight savings and things and I mean, the mirror weight was very minimal compared to the auto dimming. I just understand why they didn't include it. Anyway, um, this is just a quick install. Um, you can route your wires the way you want. I followed the instructions from the College Hill Honda. I uh, found out a lot of things. You really don't have to follow those instructions exactly. There's a lot of places where you don't have to um, cut through. You'll save yourself some time, actually. So the main difference is once you get into the car, you'll see the review mirror up here. This is your typical one. Um, if you have the 2020 or above, you also have this Honda Sensing. This is a cover you remove, which I'll show that here later in the video under install. You, you don't have to remove all these other things on the, on the passenger side, just mainly this part here to route some, tuck some wires in, route the wires across the top. And this, this visor here gave me such a hard time. It really isn't worth the hassle of getting this off. You can still route the wires even without this. So routing up the eight pillars, easy. Just come up here, one screw right in here and obviously you just pop this off and it's all plug and play in here. So I'll show how to, it plugs and plays in here and you can bring your wires up and tuck them in. It's like a couple clips, two screws, and then you have no screws here, just clips. If you have the Honda sensing, if you don't, you just have the windshield, which just makes it a lot easier. And you just wrap your wire and it's one Torx 20 that holds the mirror in place. All right, let's get to the install um, and hopefully you can understand. Thank you. And also another thing before I get this garage door also has the home link. So it programs like any home link on the car, but it, I don't have to carry a, a remote. It's so no, no clutter. I can just keep it um, all here. So, all right, let's go. All right, so I got the instructions from College Hill Honda. Um, first thing it wants me to do is remove this little shroud. Now, if you don't have the Honda sensing, this part's a little bit easier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug my dash camera first. Just unplug this. I have, I have another video of how to install this. Okay, it wants me to disconnect the negative, so let's do that first. Hopefully you have a 10 millimeter socket laying around. All right. So from here, I'll grab this. underneath it all right so I'm gonna do is pull this down okay it popped out a couple tabs in here that hold that in place okay I found the best way of just pushing here from the inside Gently breaking that loose. I'm gonna actually set this down. See what you got here. All right, take a Torx. I want to unscrew the rear view mirror. All 
All right, that was a Torx 20. Now the mirror is unscrewed. You should be able to just pull that off like that. Here is the old mirror. We won't be using that anymore. I'm gonna set that off to the side. Okay, so there's different instructions. If you guys have moonroof versus no moonroof or moonroof versus ambient lighting, so follow your appropriate instructions. I do. I don't have a moonroof, so I'm gonna follow the without moonroof but with ambient light. There's some connectors in there I need to unplug. It starts by removing these lights. And then I can, there's some screws hidden behind here. Okay, I'm using my, this is my tools. I'll link this in the description. And all I'm going to do is my, my smaller one. See how the light articulates right there. I'm gonna stick it here and just flip it out like that. And that's all you need to do. And here there are two screws. One, two, I'm gonna take those out. All right, so one of my screws, this, this is what the screw looks like. It fell into the seat cushion, so be sure you find a place to put that. All right, so it says that there's three retaining tabs in here, it looks like. So I need to be careful of how to how to get this off with these tabs okay all right so now I got the console down should be able to plug all right next I'm going to take this put that out the way then it says remove this piece here you guys can see it I don't know if you see this one Everything's black in here. So let's take it, rotate it. Um, it should come off. Okay. All right. There's a little notch in here. It says put a flathead screwdriver in there. So I'm gonna stick that right in here. All right. I've been working with this visor for a long time. Uh, so how to get this off? I'm done. I'm I'm absolutely. I'm just done. I'm over it. I'm gonna see if I can get the cord around it somehow by working around this this little piece and go from there. So what I've done was I've already unscrewed, popped this cover off, unscrewed that bolt, and I'm just gonna do is just pull this down, and then I'm gonna screw these two pieces. That that piece kicked my it really did it kicked my butt. So I'm I'm done. I'm sure there's another way. If I can't get it, then I'll just have to conclude here. <clears throat> Let's plug these pieces here. Okay, that's unplugged. white plug I'm gonna go right in here okay. all right so this white one Let's go right here this plug that works all 
All right, these are my existing connectors for um, trash control and the driver assistance harnesses. So this is trash control to white. It wants me to replace it with the gray from the mirror harness. I'm gonna plug that into the trash control switch. Next, you're gonna route your cables up and through. As I was editing this, I realized it was confusing and I really wanted to make this clear for everyone who is plugging in their harness. The instructions from the Honda says also to remove this whole dashboard. You don't need to do that. I did that and realized I don't need to remove all of this extra stuff down here. Really just pop this piece, this side piece, route your cables through here. So all your cables can be routed through. Once you get that routed, this these two uh, pieces that we unplugged initially from this switch right there, these two pieces, the blue and this white one, this white one is going to go into the mirror harness. So this right here, let's ignore this part, this harness right here and this white plug is part of your rear view mirror harness. So this white one is going to plug in next to the green switch right here on the dashboard. Just click that right in there. Okay, that's clicked in. On the switch of the rear mirror, that blanks plug, your white plug from your vehicle harness is gonna plug in here. So we're gonna plug this right there. All right, so now we're no longer using that because the switch that was going into here is now going into the rear mirror. Now, what takes that place is the gray switch. That's gonna plug right into the back of here. So I'm plug in the gray, click it in. Again, trying to do this with one hand. Obviously one's blue, you can coordinate the blue. We know which one's which because the blue is lit up back here. So plug in blue on this side, the gray on that side. All right, when that's all done, it looks like this. The gray's over there, blue's over there. Now we fish the cables up through here, all the way up through the airbag. And that whole thing that we took apart really just route the cables across the top and back down and the other end of the mirror harness. Actually, just pop this back in since we're done with this part now. And however you like to hide your cables is up to you. There's no set way of doing this. Um, but I just pushed it way back in the back because I had this loose. So all I did was just push this way, way back into the headliner, okay? Let's remove this piece. And from there, once the cable come out the other side, I was able then to just plug it into the back of the review mirror like that, okay? Once that's in, you can just clamp everything back and everything just clips back in. If you took it apart, you will should know how to put it back in. Everything clips back in there exactly how it came out. Um, you know, one screw to hold the mirror in, and then once you're all done, it is, uh, everything's all, since it's a plug and play system, you don't have to worry about like turning it on, turn it off. It comes on with the cars on, turns off and the car goes off. The benefit about it is you'll have your home link. So if I wanna open a garage door, and then our garage door opens up. And then if I want to shut the garage, let's see here. Sorry, shut the garage. And what's cool about this thing is it has a light sensor. I don't know if you can see it right there, built into the glass. And then there's a light sensor in the back as well that's right there. So it reads the light and automatically dims. So, so when I turn the car on, let's say for example, I just turn the car on and you'll see turn it off. You'll see that you get the power button to turn off the auto dimming function 
and then the garage door buttons illuminate at nighttime. So if I turn the lights on, let's get this to focus. So you see here, lights off, lights on, lights off, lights on, and then the, the auto dimming function works as, I'll show you a clip of that as well, driving around. Let's say this is a bright car falling behind you of bright lights, right? And then I turn it on. It dims out. Off. So if someone got bright lights behind you, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see just a bright light. I switch it on it's going to automatically reduce that intensity.